If you want to see what's happening on the ground, sometimes it's best to go up in the air. Idaho wildlife managers spend hours in helicopters assessing game populations, especially deer and elk. Every year, the Idaho Department of Fish and Game spends a half million dollars for this bird's eye view. It's expensive and it puts employees at risk. We wanted to reduce the amount of time our employees spend in helicopters. And in some parts of Idaho, it just won't work. In North Idaho, given the dense vegetation that's found up there, it, it's impractical to use a helicopter up there to count their deer and elk. In those places, Fish and Game has launched a new program using a tool already employed by many hunters, trail cameras. 450 cameras, each taking a photo anytime something moves in front of it. And this is going to give us an opportunity to assess all wildlife, anything that comes in front of these cameras, we're going to get a picture of. They're also programmed to snap a shot every 10 minutes. If you do the math, that comes to nearly 2 million photos per month. Technicians will use software to narrow that number down to the photos that actually show animals. They'll use that information to manage the herds. Mainz says in extreme north Idaho, where dense vegetation makes helicopter surveys virtually impossible, the cameras will provide data for the first population and sex ratio estimates ever. We can get an assessment then of, of the male segment of the population, which a lot of sportsmen care about. And he says the $157,000 camera network will be well worth the investment. From a cost-benefit analysis ratio in the long run, yeah, we're hoping to get a tremendous amount of information from these cameras that's going to be far cheaper and far safer, and in some cases probably much better than what we can get out of a helicopter. Steve Liebenthal, Six on Your Side.